A new study found food insecurity in the U.S. has reached a record high. The most recent numbers come from 2022, showing about 13 percent of people across the country are food insecure. That's according to Feeding America. And food banks in our area are seeing the impacts. Casey Baylor breaks down the numbers here in Hampton Roads. It's an ongoing trend impacting families each year. It's not surprising, but it is uh, difficult to see. Chris Tan with the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Eastern Shore says new figures match the challenges Hampton Roads residents see daily. Thank you. The latest numbers from Feeding America show Norfolk with the highest food insecurity rate in the region, sitting at 13% in 2022 a 2% increase compared to 2021. Newport News has a rate of 12%. Suffolk and Chesapeake see the lowest rate at 8.6. We have the highest rate of child food insecurity in the entire state. Although the food study data is a couple years behind, Tan says food bank community partners have reported a 20 to 30% increase in people served over the last few years. So a pantry that was serving 400 families a month is now serving 1,000. And it's the same story on the peninsula. 35 to 40 percent increases year over year. Karen Joyner with the Virginia Peninsula Food Bank says her team is buying more food to keep up with demand. In our mobile food pantries, we have consistently been running out of food. Meanwhile, in Norfolk, Tan says the food bank is doing the best it can to help. The food bank delivers the weight of an elephant of food every hour that we're open. But to meet the need, it would have to be four elephants an hour. In Norfolk, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Virginia Peninsula Food Bank leaders say in the last 12 months, they've bought more than $2 million worth of food as donations have dropped. Meanwhile, the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Eastern Shore, leaders there say they're reaching records, delivering more than 20 million pounds of food last year.